Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Keith, aka GQ Smooth. And today I'm doing a documentary called Dysfunctional Family. And, um, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, there's a lot of craziness and dysfunctionalness in every family. No family's perfect. No one is perfect, but God. But what inspired me to want to do this documentary is, you know, is because of family. The dysfunctionalness that's going on in the family. Um, everybody has a little craziness in them. And when it comes to the family. You know what I mean? So no family is perfect. No one is perfect. But um, starting off with my sister. You know, I have a sister. And um, she's very dysfunctional. <clears throat> very dysfunctional. Very fucked up in the head. Very crazy. Don't give a fuck about nobody but herself. You know what I mean? All she cares about is herself. Her money, her car, her house, herself. She don't even give a shit about her kids. She don't. Especially her oldest child. Her oldest daughter. She don't give a fuck about nobody but herself. You know, I got a lot of crazy ass uncles in my, my family. Aunties. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everyone. You know. Uh, especially on my mom's side. You know what I mean? Um, you know. But... When it comes to my sister, she's very dysfunctional, you know, um, and very disrespectful. Anybody that's telling their own mother, fuck you, you're a bitch, I don't care if you live or die, you know, talking about my mom's uh, health issues. She didn't say some shit about me. Wish that for my life. Don't give a fuck about me. Don't deserve any money, a house, a car, or anything. She deserved to be on the street. Anytime you wish death on somebody's life, <clears throat> karma's gonna come back on you. It's not gonna come back on you, you know, Today, tomorrow, next week, next month, or maybe a couple of years from now. But when you least expect it, when you least expect it, it's going to come back on your ass. You know, I just don't like dysfunctionalness in families, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, what can you do about it? Because, like I said before, there's a lot of dysfunctionalness in every family. Every family. Rich, poor, middle class, whatever. You know, it really doesn't matter. There's going to be dysfunctionalness in every family in the world, neighborhood, whatever. That's just a part of life. But the thing about dysfunctionalness is that if you're not willing to change that dysfunctionalness that's going on with you or in the family, then, you know, <laughs> you're going to be dysfunctionalness for the rest of your life. You're going to be dysfunctional, just period. Like, it's, it's, there's no escaping it because it's like, you have to want to change, you know what I'm saying? You have to want to change for the better. And if you're not willing to change for the better, and you still want to, you know, be the person that you are when it comes when it comes to being dysfunctional, being crazy, being, you know, mean, evil, deceitful, hateful, then that's going to be you. You have to take that up with God, you know. Can't nobody make you want to change. You have to change for yourself. You have to want to change for yourself. Don't do it for this person, this person, this person. Do it for yourself. You know what I mean? Um, it's just crazy. And then she said, um, from what I've heard from my mother and from my, my niece in general, told me that her mother told her that if you die, I want your insurance money. I mean, what kind of person would say that to their own daughter? Dysfunctionalists crazy very crazy and you know i mean it, it's just fucked up i mean i got crazy people in my family man. i got an uncle that's crazy very fucked up in the head he's in his what i think 60s now early 60s you know doing drugs want to threaten people want to talk shit to people 
wearing his pants and hanging off his ass. Want to talk shit about everyone else but himself. Want to try to put everyone else down. Want to always fight people. And I say, whatever problems that you're dealing with in life, you have to get help for it, get some counseling for it, get some help for it. You know, trying to make people feel sorry for you because of what you're going through is not going to cut it. You know what I mean? Um, it, it's just crazy. Then I have another one, Uncle. Um, the one I just mentioned, his name was William. His name is William. Everyone calls him Bray. I don't know why, but hey, everybody got a nickname. I got a nickname too. GQ Smooth. So everybody's entitled to have a nickname. I mean, but hey, whatever. But then you have, uh, then I have another uncle by the name of John. Very crazy. Very crazy. Want to talk shit. Want to drink all the time. Talk crazy. All about money. All about himself. Don't care about nobody for real. I mean, I really honestly don't believe that he cares about anybody but himself. You know what I mean? I, I've had some... Um, um, encounter encounters with him um, in the past, you know, the arguing, the fighting, and stuff like that. So it's just, it is crazy. Uh, it's crazy. Um, washing up in bleach, um, you know, when my grandmother was alive, you walk past her with food, don't even ask her. You know, do you need anything from the store? What do you need from the store? I'll pay all the rent for staying here. Uh, I remember one time he came in my um, uncle with a knife, almost killing me for real. And then I had to save his life by hitting his ass with a chair upside his head. Well, not literally his head, but his back. I hit him with a chair. Um, it's just a lot of craziness that's going on when it comes to family, man. Crazy, crazy shit. And like I said, people people gotta want to change for themselves. And you know, if it's been so many years, if it's been a large amount of years, and this person is still the same, if people are still the same, then they ain't gonna never change unless they want to, unless they call on God or some counseling or something, or they need to talk to somebody to to, to get some help with the problem you know they're dealing with, and then. You know, you have um, my uncle Henry, you know, um, very dysfunctional, always drinking. I mean, he was never a good influence on my life, even when I was a kid, hanging with my pops all the time, drinking all the time and starting trouble, fighting all the time and all that. that that's not a good influence on a child. And it wasn't a good influence on me as I grew up as an adult. You know what I'm saying? Um, he would always come to my grandma's house when she was alive, asking for money, sit down for a second, ask for money. Just basically coming over there just for money, just to get money from either my grandmother, God rest her soul, and my uncle Mike. Never wanted to really chill with the family, have a good time with the family, and so forth. It was always just, just coming over for money, basically. Um, cheated on his wife for another woman and I knew his wife Joyce everybody knew her she was a good woman she was a very good woman cheated on his wife for another woman which is crazy I mean just very dysfunctional to do some stupid shit like that when you have a good woman in your life very dysfunctional very crazy um, and then you have um, you have let's see did I mention all of them then you have Michael, last but not least. Um, you know, we, 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 were, we were on good terms at one point. We were on good terms, but it's not like that anymore. It was like that at one point, but, you know, whenever you have a bond with someone and then you turn your back on that person for a person that's evil, you know what I mean? I don't want to have shit to do with you. You know what I mean? How could you turn your back on someone that's always loyal to you, always trustworthy to you, always there, always had your back, and then you turn your back on that that trustworthy person for a person that's evil? 
I don't quite understand that. And then he's supposed to be a man of God. So how could you go from shaking hands with God to shaking hands with the devil? How could you go from being a, a, a man of God to being in the presence of a, of a male narcissist, of a, of a evil, deceitful person that will hurt anyone under any circumstances just to be doing it, just to make himself look good or feel good, to care about nobody but himself? You know what I mean? He did that. He did that. He turned his back on me for a person that didn't give a shit about his mother, that didn't give a shit about me, that didn't give a shit about... Um, um, uh, his past relationships, the women that he was with, he's a womanizer, not Michael, but um, William. That's 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 who Mike chose to 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 be with, to be in the presence the presence of. You know what I mean? A person that was evil, that, a person that threatened him, a person that 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 threatened him on numerous occasions. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Um, you turn your back on somebody that was loyal to you for a person that's evil. Very dysfunctional, very crazy. And that's why we don't really uh, bond anymore. We're not, you know, in each other's presence anymore. It's, by me being an empath, I don't, I don't, I don't associate with um, uh, narcissist people. I don't associate with a person that's going to turn their back on me for a narcissist, for a person that's evil and deceitful. Very crazy. You have to be very crazy and deceitful to do something like that. And very dysfunctional to do some stupid shit like that. For real. For real. Very dysfunctional, very crazy, very dysfunctional. Um, just everyone's crazy, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to family, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't really deal with family like that. I stay to myself, you know what I mean? I stay away from the drama. I stay away from the um, from the bullshit. I stay away from all the deceitfulness that's going on in my family and the world in general. You know what I mean? Um, because as long as you associate with yourself around those type of people when it comes to crazy deceitful dysfunctional people then most likely you you'll be that yourself it, it'll start it start to, to to take a toll on you you know what i mean so the best thing for you to do is is, is steer clear from people like that and and um go forward in life instead of backwards stay away from dysfunctional people in life stay away from crazy people stay away from people that's not going to have your back Stay away from people that's going to talk shit to you, talk down on you, talk shit behind your back. You know what I mean? You need to be around people that's that's going to have your back. You need to be around people that's going to uh, uh, be there for you. You know what I mean? Be around people that's going to be there for you instead of against you. You know, be, be, be around people, be around, you know, people that's going to 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 uh, make you feel good, not not prey on your downfall, or smile in your face one minute, and then when you turn your back, they want to talk shit to you to the other person and this person, this person, this person. Mm -hmm. Be around people that's positive instead of negative. You know what I mean? Don't be around people that's 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 um, dysfunctional, crazy, and that's willing to talk behind your back because of you being so real so authentic you know what i'm saying so you and chances are when it comes to people like that if you're not if you're not like them they want to get mad talk shit about you talk shit behind your back or whatever and and and, 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 and you know because you speak the truth about certain shit you speak the realness when it comes to certain shit you real yourself so if a person gets mad at you like that because you being real and you being truthful about certain shit then chances are they're fake and they want you to be fake like them. They have a big circle full of fake people within their circle. And then you have and been a person being so real, so truthful. They keep a small circle, such as myself. I keep a small circle full of people. I don't keep a big circle full of people because I don't need a big circle full of people for what? You know, people like that ain't real fake. They only want to make themselves look good when it comes to other people. To say, I know this person, I know this person, I know all of these people. So you think with all those people that you know that they're not going to turn their back on you or talk shit behind your back? Mm -mm. I keep a small circle full, full of people because I'm real. And you know what they say, 
when it comes to people keeping a small circle full of people, they're real. When it comes to people having a big circle full of people, a large amount of people within their circle, fake. Because they need a large amount of people within their circle to validate them. They need a large amount of people within their circle to, to make them feel good and to make themselves look good. That's all it is. See, I've been on this earth long enough to know real and fake. Who's real? Who's fake? Who's fake? Who's real? All you got to do is just sit back and observe people. Sit back and observe people. Be observant. And then you'll get your answer. Because ain't nobody going to come at you and then tell you that they're fake. You just have to you just have to observe people when it comes to their their, their the way they talk and so forth. And who they are as a person or people. Just, just, just the, 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 the point is, is that just sit back and observe people. That's all you got to do. And I've been observing for a long time now when it comes to just people that I've dealt with in the past, friends, family, and so forth, and just people in general. That's why I stay to myself. I mean, I know people, but for the most part, I stay to myself. You know, so, but when it comes to dysfunctional people, you got a lot of dysfunctional people in the world that's never going to change unless people want to change it. And I don't see that happening for real when it comes to, because there's a lot of dysfunction that's going on in the world and especially family. So that's what prompted me to do this, this, this documentary based on dysfunctional family. You know what I mean? Um, you know, when it comes to cousins, dysfunctional. Aunties, dysfunctional. Uncles, dysfunctional. And I don't give a fuck who's uh, listening to this video. I don't give a fuck who it offends or whatever. I'm going to say what I'm going to say because I want to say it. I'm entitled to say it. You know what I mean? So, I'm entitled to say what the fuck I want to say. Because this is my film, this is my camera, and I'm going to say what I want to say. And I'm saying it because it's the truth. And, and, and I felt like saying it today. You know what I mean? So, you know, and it's crazy when you be so real, you be so truthful about shit. People want to get offended, get mad, get upset. Why are you getting upset? Why are you getting mad? It's the truth. I have no reason to lie. I know the truth about certain shit, so I'm wanting to speak it. You know what I mean? So, it's crazy. I wish that things can change when it comes to... to dysfunctionalness within the world itself and, and, and family especially but like I said people got to want to change for themselves and you know they they don't want to change and they want to keep being dysfunctional crazy and evil and, and, and being backstabbers and being fake then let them be that but don't be that within my presence or around me or to me then we're going to have a problem because I'm going to speak what I speak I'm going I'm, I'm to speak what I feel you feel me? I don't give a fuck who's gonna like it. You know what I mean? So, I don't care who's gonna like it. You know what I'm saying? So, I really don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, like I said, you know, when it comes to dysfunctionalness, we all need to just try and change, get some counseling, talk to somebody that you can, you can uh, talk to to get you some kind of help or people that can get help um so but you know people choose to be dysfunctional you know what I'm saying they know they can change they know they can change if they want to but people don't want to fucking change they 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 they, they want to be themselves when it comes to being fake and being dysfunctional so uh if you choose to be that if you choose to be dysfunctional um then hey that's on you but don't don't be that shit around me because, like I said, I sit back and observe people. And, you know, I know when you're real and I know when you're being real with me. And I know when you're being fake with me. If you're being fake, don't be around me. Don't say shit to me. Don't smile in my face like everything's all good. And then, you know, when I turn my back, you want to talk shit behind my back to other people that you know. Maybe a friend, friends, or another family member. Don't do that shit. Don't be fake. Be real be real and the problem in this world is that people don't want to be real people want to stay fake not everybody but the majority of people fake 
especially family, you know? You feel me on that? So, it's fake motherfuckers, man. Fake shit. That's why anytime a family member talks shit about me, talks shit about my mom, you know, you got a problem. You know, that's why my mother, she don't deal with half of her family members because they talk shit, they fake, they pretend they want to be around her. But then when she turn, when they when when she turn her back, they want to talk shit. I like talk shit in front of my face. Don't talk shit when I turn my back. You got something to say? Say it. You feel me? So that that's kind of shit I don't like. I don't, I don't like the type of shit where you talk shit behind my back, but talk shit to my face when I'm right there. If you big and motherfucking bad, talk shit behind. Talk shit to my face. Don't talk shit behind my back. You say you are real, motherfucker. You know, let me see how real you are. Because as soon as you say what you want to say, I'm going to say what I got to say. And then we'll be done. You know, but don't be a fake motherfucker and talk shit behind my back. Like a coward motherfucker. Like being, being, being motherfucking uh, two-faced in this shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, don't like, I don't like people like that. I never have and I never will. You feel me? So, um... Yeah, I deal with a lot of dysfunctionalists when it comes to my family. They all fucking dysfunctional. I don't give a fuck if they don't like it. You know, you got my Aunt Dora. She's dysfunctional. Want to be white. Want to talk shit about my mom. Want to talk shit about the family. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's just very fake. And the only time she come around is, is if it's some kind of fucking holiday or some shit like that. Then she want to come around, bring some fucking food over and then leave. Always bragging on her fucking job. I got this. I got that. I was like, okay, cool. Everybody got a job. Why are you bragging? Everybody got that. Everybody got money. Everybody got a job. Why are you fucking bragging? She just fake in general. You know, even when my grandmother was live, she wasn't calling my grandmother on a regular basis. She wasn't calling my mom on a regular basis. She wasn't calling me on a regular basis. And I don't want to hear that shit about I work all the time. That's another thing too, which is bullshit. Ain't nobody that fucking busy where you can't take five minutes out of your fucking time to call a friend or a family member to say, hey, how you doing? Or are you all right? I just call to say I love you. That's bullshit. So anybody that says that type of shit that I'm working all the time, that may be true, but that's bullshit. You can pick up the phone for five fucking minutes and call. She fake. She fake. Very fake. You know what I mean? And then you have uh, my auntie Cynthia. She fake as fuck, too. I don't give a fuck, man, for real, fake. You know, don't call my mom on a regular basis. You know, just want to be around my mom, basically, just, just to every blue moon, just to, you know, um, not even hang out. I mean, to be honest with you, I can't even remember the last time she, she, she called my mom up. I can't remember the last time she even called my mom just to say, hey, how you doing? And even her brother Michael told me on numerous occasions that she only wants to come around the family when she wants money. You know, to buy her man beer and all that and cigarettes. And just basically just to be around the family for money, basically. Come around the family just for money reasons. Not to, to be around the family, not to hang around with the family, not to be in the family's presence. Maybe a nice barbecue or go to the park with the family or just hang around with the family in general. You know, for love reasons. Now, if you got to only be around the family or come around the family just because you want money, then that's that's fake. That's dysfunctional. You're dysfunctional for doing some shit like that. You know what I mean? Very dysfunctional. You know what I mean? I don't like nobody like that. They only want to come around the family when they want money or uh, when they just want to, you know, get food or eat up people's shit. That's very dysfunctional. That ain't that ain't real. That's fake. That's fake. So the only people in my family that were real, that were authentic, and lovable was my grandmother, God rest her soul, and my mother. The only two people. And that I truly love very much. The only people that were real, authentic, and loyal. And never had to be fake at all you know what i mean and because 
people are so real people are so truthful and fake you're gonna get talked about you're gonna get down talk people are gonna prey on your downfall they're gonna talk shit behind your back because they're fake and you're real and they can't handle it because they're fake so that's my film for the day dysfunctional family i'm here to say peace love and harmony god is love love is god peace Good.